The first sealant that I'm going to share is the polycrylic. This is the one I got it from online store. I believe that this is a handmade type. This is exactly how the packaging look like. So I'm going to try this sealant. This is how it look like. So before I'm using this, I need to stir this. It has a quite a strong smell, something like glue smell. And I think that it really look like a glue. Today I'm going to use a coaster. This is the new coaster that I'm, I just made this. And this is how it looks like without any sealant on it. So today I'm going to try to apply this polyclyric on this coaster. The applicator I'm using is the sponge. This is the sponge brush. So I just need to dip a slightly polyclyric and then I just slightly brush on this coaster. I know that in the market there is a lot of other polycrylic. There is one famous brand out there, but in Malaysia the price is very expensive, so I couldn't get that. I will just try the cheaper one first. As you can see, after applied, it will become like this. For the first layer, I'm going to leave it dry for at least two hours. The next sealant that I'm going to use is the low order clear finish from Krylon. This is the matte finishing. This is the one I just got it recently. So today I'm going to try this sealant on this new coaster. This is the coaster without any sealant on it. This is how it looks like. For the next sealant that I'm going to try is this. This is the lacquer, it's the gloss finish sealant from the Mr. DIY, which you can only get it from the local store. This coaster, I made it yesterday, and I tried to draw with some glossy rainbow on it. So I'm going to use this gloss finish sealant on this. So I will come back later. review the all four sealants. For the first one, I'm going to talk about this polyclyric. And this is the result. For each sealant, I apply about two to three coating. This is the result for the polyclyric. You can see that the surface has a very light sheer finishing. And it does have some very light sticky feeling. And as for the smell, I can smell that there is some slight glue kind of smell. The outcome is like I apply a thin layer of glue on this. And as for the second coaster, this is the sealant I'm using Low Order Clear Finish by Craylon. And this is the outcome. Even though there is written matte here, but the outcome I see here is sheer finishing. It's not that it is completely matte. And the surface is quite smooth. 
think this is not bad and the smell is not that strong as for the third sealant I'm using is the lacquer the gloss finishing by the Mr. DIY and here is the outcome I really like how it came out it's very glossy look and before this I paint with the acrylic gloss color and you can see that how the color really vibrant out normally all the gloss sealant will mix the color really pop up and as for the smell I think that the smell is quite strong but it will go away in another few days for the last sealant that I'm using is the Crayon matte finish I'm very sorry that I forgot not to press the recording button just now so I couldn't record the entire process but this is the end result it appeared just almost the same before I applied the sealant almost invisible as you can see the texture is if I touch this I can feel that it has a bit of matte feeling but there is almost you can barely see the coating on this this is perfect all right let's come to the summary part if you ask me among the four sealant which is my favorite and i will definitely go for this crayon matte finish i really like how this one turns out the outcome is almost looks like invisible and it dries in minutes and it won't turn yellowing for my second choice i will definitely go for this the letter which is the gloss finishing because i really love how the color pop up and especially if i make the terrazzo project you can really see how the terrazzo flakes pop up and my third choice would be this the crayon low order clear finish because it will give a slight sheer finishing if i want my project to look slightly gloss but not too glossy and slightly matte this one was in the between but i think this sealant is more suitable for the canvas painting instead of cement and my least most favorite is the polycrylic maybe this is the handmade water-based polycrylic and this is a much more cheaper product so the outcome is not that what I expected it has a slight stickiness which I don't really like overall I think that each of this sealant really give a very different individual finishing it's really depending on what kind of finishing you want I hope that this comparison sealant video is useful to you if you like this video don't forget to press like subscribe and share so i will see you again on my next video bye